Okay, finally have it working. Got a nice big 50 gallon food grade water tank that's got a sealable lid. The pumps are over there where they were before. Goes pumps through the hot water heater. That comes up, goes into here. That goes through this coil to cool it down a little bit before going into this barrel. From yeah, there it goes down into the barrel. From this inlet, it goes down a tube that goes all the way to the bottom and comes in and then it fills up from the bottom. So any hot water that's freshly coming in will want to rise and help add to the circulation. <coughs> Then as it fills in, the whole whole barrel is filled to the top and it forces its way just via um, siphoning all the way down straight into the T that goes into the bottom radiator and then comes back up into the pumps. And then once I'm set with this, it's set finally i'm able to run this i took it off a of summer and put it onto winter setting so it's burning hotter but it's still in the minimum or the lowest setting of the winter where it's got a it, summer is where it turns off a quarter of the flames so i can keep it stable it's not rising very fast before it would rise up to 60 really fast and then once the pot would get warm then that would just right go up to 80 celsius but and then this is in Fahrenheit on this thing right here. But these barrels should be able to do up to like 170 degrees Fahrenheit. About right around the exact max of these hot water heaters is 85 degrees Celsius. Some of those are about, about the same. I usually don't ever take it up that high. This will get too hot well before it can get... This will get to 85 coming right out of here well before the barrel gets anywhere near 85. And that will auto shut off vacuum pump was used before and it'll end up getting used when the vacuum steam turbine will be put in here or cold steam pretty excited can store all my heat energy from the combustion in the hot water tank and then when i want the heat energy to be used either for heating the room i can run it through the radiators to heat the room or i can have a coil inside this that is the boiler coil for the vacuum steam turbine that's going to go over in this corner over here so this hot water tank is the storage for energy of heating the room and for storing energy for um, powering the turbine in the vacuum steam. But once the best part about that is that all of the heat energy that's not utilized in the vacuum steam turbine, you have to get rid of in the condenser to maintain the vacuum. Well, we can still use these radiators as the uh, heat exchanger to get, get the heat out of the condenser fast enough so that I can continue condensing at a rate that we continue producing power. Pretty excited, big steps here, pretty decent thermal battery and soon to be electrical energy battery. Yeah, you can see it went up like a degree or two degrees since I started recording this.